Gary Barlow has been open about his battle with bulimia, an eating disorder he developed after Take That split in 1996. Take That, the iconic band formed in 1990, soared to stardom with hits like Back for Good and continued their success with recent releases such as Greatest Day. Over the years, the band has racked up an impressive 56 number one singles worldwide, maintaining their success even after Robbie Williams' departure in 1995. However, in 2018, lead singer and songwriter Gary Barlow revealed his struggle with an eating disorder during the band's nine-year hiatus. Speaking on ITV's Lorraine, Barlow confessed that his battle with bulimia, a disorder characterized by binge eating followed by self-induced vomiting, was a result of his desire to kill off the pop star he once was. After receiving limited support for his second album in 1999, Barlow decided to quit singing. This drastic career shift led him to gain weight intentionally, hoping it would make him unrecognizable to fans. Not being recognized felt wonderful. The more weight I put on, the easier life became. Fat, I was invisible, he admitted in a previous interview, recalling the onset of his health issue. Binge eating soon became a severe problem for Barlow who indulged in a variety of foods including baked potatoes, pasta, cereal, and an astonishing 19 cups of coffee and cola daily. In an attempt to conceal his eating disorder from his family, Barlow would force himself to vomit in the toilet of his recording studio. I'd go back to bed and lie awake. My heart racing, sore throat, worrying and overstimulated. I can never sleep after I've done it, he confessed. He continued revealing the self-loathing that grew within him. The first time I did it, it took me 15 minutes to get the job done. Now it takes me 30 seconds.